what the hell is going on so i'm back i've been out here actually all day messing with the ella swapped miata um so sub from his pull back out the first video i posted about the ls miata was pretty much just showing the motor um on the subframe and i tried to get a, a video or in a video try to show how the motor mounts that we bought off of amazon were mounted to the stock subframe um so i officially got this subframe out and have completely put it all back together um with so i had to cut a lot of area out i wanted to make it as close to one of the aftermarket ones as possible um so here is the stock subframe this is underneath of it went ahead and painted it black um and you can see there is a very large section that has been removed and then those are the motor mounts there so here i'm fuck yeah <laughs> I, I say that because, man, this thing, for, to me, it looks really damn good. Um, but so here is what I did to get to this point. So pretty much this edge right here came out probably out, oh, it's about here, I'd say. Um, and it came all the way down just like that. Had all this way out here, which does not give much room for the oil pan, does not give much room for the exhaust. Um, none of that. And then also here, it came up and, and went like, I think it came at, a, at an angle like this. Um, I had cut this section out a while ago. Um, but here is the subframe completely welded up. I put I plated this section off here um, with uh, some sheet metal and then have the motor mounts there. So here, so pretty much on the top of here. There's the two big holes, there's two smaller holes, and then there's one, one hole right beneath those two here on both sides. And what I did is I had ended up buying this, this mount here. Um, this part here was actually ended up being a little bit further um, in front of where this went well, off, where this ended. So I just kept cutting, cutting, cutting until it pretty much met here and there was about a 16th of an inch um from the left of that little hole the little hole only had about 16th of an inch left then um what i did is i had this laying down had it laying down on some uh, jack stands, whatever, and it had the motor, so the training wasn't on it, but I had the motor, I slowly lowered it down, had these here, had the bolts going through them, but they weren't tightened down, so they were, they were able to move. It pretty much is that once these two were attached to the motor, they're exactly where they're going to be at as far as motor. Like they're not, they're not going to um, pivot at all. So then what I did is I lowered the motor down and then br brought this side here and that side here to be about a 16th of an inch left of that small hole. And that allowed it to be dead even on both sides. Granted, I'm pretty sure um, the aftermarket ones are a little bit closer to the passenger side, I think, to clear the rack. But what I did is I made sure at this height with the 16th of an inch and the way I cut this angle here, that allows this here when this is at the, well, you can see it clears there, but when the actual um, swivel part of the shaft is there, it clears it by like that much. So it clears there, everything clears here. And the reason I notched this out is actually to allow um, the header, or the not headers, but the exhaust to go down and clear. So uh, what I'm actually gonna do now let me, I'm getting out of the breath, not breathing while I'm fucking talking to you guys. But let me go ahead and put the subframe back into the car. I'm going to drop the motor in with the transmission and officially have motor and training in there. Pretty sure I'm going to need to notch the firewall a little bit on the corners. Not the top, but the, the top part of each side um, where the firewall is. I'm pretty sure it's going to hit there. But I already hammered it a little bit, so it might fit. Let me go ahead and get this in. I'll start recording again.